Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So today, uh, it's going to be a little story time. So fun. So what I'm going to be talking about is how I, Xora, the best gamer in the entire world, became the UK's biggest streamer in Cranker, which is my self-proclaimed title. However, it was also true at the time. Like it's self-proclaimed. I gave myself that title, but it was also true. Yo, factual Cold War sucks. Yes, sir. Before I, I actually say anything, I just want to let you know that there were Cranker, not streamers, but creators like YouTubers from the UK who were bigger than me. I'm just saying on Twitch, I was the biggest UK streamer, not, not creator as a whole. How did this come around? So it all started when I uploaded my very first. Okay, these kids are so sweaty. Oh, I've made a mistake playing this game. It all started when I uploaded my very first crunker video. And now, I don't know how long ago I was, but I'll put it on the screen anyway, just so you know. And I'm not going to say I fell in love with the game or anything. I just found it extremely easy and i got extremely good very quickly i wasn't the best at the game i played against people who were a lot better than me but it doesn't take from the fact that i just skyrocketed on twitch for some reason so when that video went live and i uploaded it it got a lot of views for my channel anyway i can't remember the exact amount of views but i got like 200 i think and at the time i only had about 150 subs ish yeah so at the time that was quite a lot for me And I also gained a lot of subs from playing Crunker itself on like advertising it on my Twitch and then people would go sub to me from doing that. And that actually helped me grow a lot on YouTube to me. For my entire time streaming, I went from, I think I gained at least 70 like subs the entire time on my streaming career, I guess you could say. So it, it was quite a lot. But because I gained so many subs on YouTube as well as growth on twitch i found it really easy to merge the two together like i would make crunker content from my twitch like basically like twitch clips basically and highlights and they would do well i guess you could say i had fans because of how well i i i was growing and how quickly i was growing i thought you know what well, well, well from my youtube how well the crunker vi first crunker video did i was like you know what let's stream my first month i gained 200 followers Maybe a little bit more than that, which isn't a massive amount, but zero to 200 followers is decent, especially when you're playing like a not a very a, a game that's not massive and extremely popular. But I had a little hiccups along the way of uh, my streaming journey. I got follow botted. I had a lot of uh, trolls and shit, I guess you could say. The follow bot that demoted me a lot, I'm not going to lie to you, because obviously if someone gives you followers and you didn't work for them, it's not, it doesn't feel good. Like, I, I, I wanted to work for my followers. You know? I wanted to uh, actually earn them, not just someone turns on the software, puts my name in it, and then all of a sudden I have a bunch of followers. Like, it, it doesn't work. And if you want to know how much I got followed by four, at the time, I had 400 followers. And then I miraculously went up to oh, 1,400 within two seconds. But I, I got followed by for a lot of followers. And the situation was actually horrible. Like, the guy went into my chat and was like, yo, do you want me to follow bot you for a video and i was like no nah, definitely not no thank you and guess what he done he follow botted me well, actually no no he said okay yeah sure i won't follow but you he follow botted me and then he said okay i'll take him off guess what he took him off and then guess what he put him back on after he took him off without me noticing because i had a follower goal at the time so when it went up from 400 to 1.4k i i think i kind of noticed that um I got followed by the community they had was actually like what probably one of the least toxic gaming communities I think I've ever seen in my life. The people who were toxic weren't really people who were fan of Crunker. Like the actual Crunker fans and Crunker players were the, were obviously part of the community. But the toxic people, the ones who would play the game, but be like, then they'll drop into your stream and be like, you're streaming this shitty game and you already have X amount of views and whatever. I, I'm thinking about going back to stream and I've, I've set up a bunch of new stuff on my stream and got my camera set up and all that sort of jazz and new alerts and all that sort of shit. So I'm thinking about potentially streaming again, like Cold War and stuff. Maybe not solo because uh, this game's utter dog shit. Best player in the game. Best player in the game. Throughout my whole Twitch journey, I think I gained 1.3k followers 
legit. So as in, I just got drop shot by a sniper. That's outrageous. Good on them, though. <laughs> Never seen someone try drop shot with a sniper. That's <laughs> GG, I guess. But yeah, so 1.3K, 1.4K followers legit. As in, when, if I took off the follow bots, it would be around there. And I'm going to be honest, it was fun. Streaming was fun. Having, getting donated. Okay, well, it's going to sound fucking a uh, total sellout. But getting like subs, getting donations and stuff. What's fun? Just who burst me? But yeah, I enjoyed getting all the followers and subs and donations and like people donating bits and stuff. That was fun. I'm not saying it in the sense of, oh yeah, I loved people giving me money. Like it was just the uh, people willingly and generously giving you like follows and subs and donos and bits and stuff out of their own pocket just because they enjoy watching. I just think it's cool. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's nice. I think it's cool. Like, whether or not it's from Twitch Prime and so is a free sub. So I got affiliated in the first week because, you know, I'm a just god tier. So Krunka had a, like a really cool feature that when you streamed or if you were, but if you were like a creator on YouTube, primarily for Krunka and you were a, a streamer, if you're in the top three streamers or the and the top three YouTubers of like a certain time period, you would actually be put up in like a leaderboard kind of thing on the Krunker homepage. So then it would fluctuate between streamers and content creators. It would be like a pop-up. So it'd be so creators would be like pop up for like 10 seconds and then it'll switch to streamers for like another 10 seconds and so on and so forth. And obviously if you're in the top three of the streamers, at, at the time when I was streaming, it wasn't, you didn't have to have a lot of viewers. Like 10 viewers would get you in top three. So when you're number one, everyone's going to look at you. But then they also had a thing at the end of each game, you could have a message, like an automated message in the settings, which you could put anything in, as long as it obviously isn't racist or inappropriate and stuff. So what I done is, genius like me, sell out again, self promo in, I just put my Twitch in there. And that's how you, on Cranker, that's how what everyone done. You gained like at least two followers a game, depending on how good you done. Like if you dropped a nuke and it was a full lobby still, not everyone left. A lot of the times that entire lobby would follow you. So that's like seven followers right there. Just because he played one game and you shit on everyone. Like, hello? But yeah, so I blew up on Cranker and I got massive. I think my most amount of views at the time what was 80 80 viewers on Krunker, which is that well at the time that was good now that's sort of average for Krunker streamers if they're big i guess because a lot of them now who stuck to stay playing Krunker. i just got bored of the game so i didn't but if i continued streaming it until now i would probably be on like 200 viewers every stream which is crazy to think and i'd have like 40k followers which is crazy to think that i could be like partnered on twitch and stuff if i just continued playing Krunker. So if you want more story type videos of me explaining my crunker journey, or not even crunker journey, but streaming career, this isn't a streaming career, just any more stories in general about me. Number one crunker streamer in the UK, six months, like a year ago nearly. If you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you want more story type-esque videos. I'll try and do them better. I don't really know how to do them. I, I know I got sidetracked in like 900 times and was all over the place doing this, but I shall see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye. I'm just trying to talk.